my people. How are we doing this morning, everyone? We doing good? What we got here? We got some dust, some dust and dirt. Black shirt, black shirt, black shoot, back pants. How are we doing? How are we doing? Alan bought a Vision Air. Nice. That's got to be his number one pin now. Happy birthday, Alan. Is it today or was it yesterday? I forget which day. Casual Thursday is back. It is. I think it's got to be warm to be casual Thursday. You know, shorts, flip flops, t shirt, hat. That's pretty, that's as casual as it gets around here. That's as casual as you want it around here, believe me. <laughs> that, that's maximum casual. <laughs> we need around here while the rest of the country is buried in snow 10.8 inches of snow in portland a bunch of my portland peeps were sending out pictures on the internet it was crazy i saw rulers and snow it was crazy thought that was a seattle mariners hat for a second it's a good it's a very uh seattle mariners color did i get my ears lowered i did not it's just the way uh, my gray hairs work with this white hat. It makes me it makes it look like I have less hair, but I promise you all the hair is still here and it has not been cut. Zane's dad, six months of subbing, let's go. Yesterday was the birthday. Today, a two-chick Pelican M800. I don't know what that means. In blue is arriving to compete my RGB collection. Nice. I don't know what two-chick means. <clears throat> We got about four inches of snow, and you're on you're across the country from Portland, and it's 80 in DC today, right? We're in the uh, we're in the below zone. It's gonna be 80 today. Two chicks on the nib. I don't even know what that means. We don't have snow, but it's zero degrees here. Rip. Two baby. Oh, the two. Okay, so it's a pelican. It's a pelican, like a, something they did one time or a few times historically, put two birds on, two baby birds on the nib. So it's kind of like special because of that. Gotcha. Tracking, tracking. Jay Schultz, 12 months of subbing. Woohoo, spoke order delivering today. We got more spoke orders out yesterday. Um, and then I'm waiting on nibs. Still snowing. About a foot and a half of sunshine in Orlando this morning. Yeah. A thousand years ago, they had three chicks? Really? <clears throat> 70s yesterday and now 50s? Yeah. We're going to stay warm through the weekend. So it is it is shorts day for sure. Uh, how are we doing? Everyone good? Everyone good otherwise? Other than the, uh, the weather being what it is? Hang on one second. We have some adjustments to make. Mm-hmm. Love the hat. I love this hat, too. We have not made more of these hats. We had hail yesterday. Oof. Oof. Um, so I sat down this morning. Juice sweet milk. Oof. I had, I, had, uh, I had Bantha milk for breakfast this morning. Jealous with our high of negative three, right? Had to cut back on the chicks. Yeah, pricing. The, uh, we're in a chick shortage. We're in a chick shortage. Adjustment still me. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. I'm not sure if that's good or good or bad. Miss Cody. Yeah, we had we had a chick shrinkflation on the nibs. So yeah, I will have to see a picture of your um um uh, two chicks nib. I did not pick up mail yesterday. Um, although that is on the agenda drop off uh, today. So maybe maybe today, but not 100 percent sure. Naper villain, 27 months of subbing. Let us go. Um, so yeah, pre-stream, I was sitting here uh, just looking through my notebook to see what I need to work on today. So a lot of writing to do today. It is February 23rd. I have things that I owe, things that need to get done, but we will get them all done. Good looking hat. Look forward to them available for purchase. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we Brian and I both like the hat. I just don't know what the feasibility is. But yeah, maybe. I really like, I actually shockingly like this hat. It's really good. Good shape. Two weeks till Baltimore. Is that it? Is it only two weeks away? Oh, sorry, I'm watching Toby. Let's see if he's going to go bork at my wife. Nope, he's good. Um, Like email to Glyph. There are emails happening today. That is on the list because I'm not... Um, I'm not shipping today, so there is email time this afternoon. 
allegedly. Uh, Spoke will become a lifestyle brand like Supreme. <laughs> I have, I have this wonderful plan. I have this wonderful idea, and I, I and I mean this in all seriously. I have a stationary lifestyle brand, like notes and details and layouts and stuff, like that I think would actually work. I just haven't done it yet. Haircut, beard cut, neither, neither. I mean, I may I trim I trim the big this week beard this weekend, but. I think it's honestly, I think it's because the white is showing off the gray in here, but like no haircut, like it's all, it's all still under here. It just has to kick off to the side uh, with the hat. I'd like to send a postcard to a friend, but I'm nervous about it getting lost in the mail. Have you had good success sending naked postcards? Generally speaking, yeah, but I've had one or two of the ones that I've sent from here not show up. They're like that's just part of the risk. Lamy Safari Expo. Could you imagine? That would be sick. <clears throat> Stacked Stargazer, triple stack M1000. Y'all are nuts. Like, in the, I mean, in the, that in the best way possible. <clears throat> Lifestyle brand like Mont Blanc? No. No. Like, I don't, yeah, no. Maybe I'll do it one year. It'll take a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I need a designer. <laughs> I need an artist. <clears throat> but like I, it's to the, it, I like the idea so much. I have the domain names that I want. Mont Brad. No one wants Mont Brad. I promise you. Although we could do four chicks. What's the most chicks we could do Um, on a nib? Like... Y'all got two chicks, three chicks. We could, we should do just four chicks on a nib. Using Palette Pettit fountain pen, still really love these. They are shockingly good. I, they have so much tipping, they're hard to use very much, but I like them just as a concept of a, of a nib. There are stacks that I want to see made, but I already have as many as I can use, so I'm glad I see others playing. Yeah, nice. I still haven't decided what kind of stack I should get from CY. So I got exactly what I wanted, and CY knew what I wanted without asking me what I wanted. So I uh, can't wait for smoke sneakers. Like I put that Supreme link, y'all saw that Supreme link in refill this weekend with the Rotring, uh, the Rotring Supreme uh, multi-pen. I was, I, what I wanna know is how much they're charging for that logo to be on there. What do y'all, how much y'all think that pen is? Cause I didn't, I didn't look at it, but the regular Rotring three in one multi-pen is like $46. I mean, that's well over $100, right? It's got to be like $150, $189 or some stupid thing like that. You have a Rotring multi-pin in lava? Those are cool. I've seen those. Spoke eyeglasses frames. Brian, the way Brian likes to machine things, he could machine glasses. I am completely certain of that. <clears throat> Micro engraving can get thousands of names on a tiny chip to send to Mars. We should get Gray Web to just do some little tiny plotting. Did y'all see his crazy plotting yesterday? That was wild. I was fascinated by that. I couldn't stick around too long, but that was cool to see. But yeah, Brian, I mean, Brian being the engineer that he is, um, yeah, I could, I could see him doing that. <clears throat> What's the big deal on the Supreme that's different than standard? It's it's all name value. Like it's supposed to be like we call them uh hype beasts. That's why I put that in there. It's just like this brand that is popular with the kids that they pay a premium to have the Supreme logo slapped across it. Like a mega premium, not just a little premium like stupid stuff. I own no Supreme, so you should know that. But They'll do it in limited numbers, and people will line up it to buy the things and, and all that stuff. So there is even a Supreme brick, a literal brick made out of clay. They, it's almost, they, they're they like almost like making a mockery of themselves with like some of the stuff, like the Supreme brick. <laughs> but yeah, like a hat, like just like a basic hat that we probably paid like 10 bucks for, like they would pay the same too, but slap the Supreme logo on it, it'd be like $125. Like that's it. That's it. They, it's it's branding and marketing and whatever they whatever they did struck a chord. Branding, marketing, limited editions. It's just the way it was. Way it was. 
Supreme logo isn't even visually appealing. It's not, but it's like a lot of logos that you know it immediately when you see it, right? Like, it's so basic. It, like, it looks like a generic grocery store brand logo, but you know exactly what it is when you see it. So, but I'm also something that pays attention to that, a lot of that stuff. So, like, I mean, I literally have, like, a Nike Off-White book up here, and I have a Carhartt WIP uh, book up here from, like, the design stuff because, like, I, I pay attention to that stuff. Influencer-based marketing, yeah. Don't blame millennials. We're too poor to afford that nonsense. Yeah, millennials, yeah. I just got, oh, you got Monty Winfield nibs? I still don't have uh, any Monty Winfield nibs. I don't need any more stack nibs. I'm good with what I have. I am good. All right. I wasn't talking to you. Toby is so fluffy right now. He needs a haircut, something fierce. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You want to show everyone your your haircut, your non-haircut, your floof? Come here. You want to see me? You want to come here? He ain't coming over here. He ain't coming over here. <clears throat> Some millennials are turning 40. Yeah. Um, all right. I, I need to knock out this last tray of goods um, from the Toyoka Craft Box. See how, see how it's empty? Because it's sitting right here on my desk. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, nine more pins to add. And then I have everything in the box in the spreadsheet, but that doesn't mean that I'm done with the pins. So we're going to work on that a little bit this morning. Um, I have a package I'm going to open from Mr. Johnny Gamber to test out some notebooks. We're going to do that this morning. Um, I probably won't do any other planning stuff, so pretty open open to, to chat about today. Uh, pretty much anything y'all want. Um, so we're going to take it slow today, but let's uh, let me get this spreadsheet knocked out so... This is where we're at. This is the boring stuff. This is, we're on line item 75. Uh, does that mean that there's 73 listed or did we start? No, we did ID number. So the ID number is correct. Y'all were smart for me to do that. So number 75. Did y'all see the new Lamy Japan Safari? I don't think so. Send that to me, Selections, if you have a link. Um, we'll finish up this spreadsheet real quick. This won't take long. My spreadsheet is so painful to you. Well, that's why it's my spreadsheet, right? Because it's not painful to me, and you get to make your own where it's not painful, right? That's why we all like different things, right? <clears throat> Lamy Japan. Oh, this is, we had this one last year. This came out in the U.S. in 2022. This one and the Stormtrooper one. Yeah, this has been in the U.S. since 2022. This was their nostalgic night. Oh, well, it literally says that. Yeah, this was, um, if I'm reading it now. They did this edition in the 90s. Um, yeah, that's where this one came out. <clears throat> this was the same series. So they did these two. So, yeah. But I don't know that they were in Japan to begin with. I thought they were maybe like a U.S. only thing. But now they're just shifted, shifting them worldwide. So, yeah. Uh, these came out in the fall. For sure. For sure. Oh, look. So, yeah. There's the... And this is the other one. These were the two that were in the series. The two colorways. And then they did it across the... The ballpoint, rollerball, pencil, and fountain pen for each of these. Yep. So I bought the, uh, I replaced my, um, what color? I had the mint, I had like the mint green uh, rollerball. I replaced it, or ballpoint. I replaced it with the uh, Stormtrooper looking one. We actually talked about those on the podcast yesterday, just in how like that was kind of a, like a disappointment idea. <clears throat> like it was it was okay all right um good morning evan so we have a few this is all we have to enter today let's flip this around a little bit um so i don't knock anything over so we have the paniter um the binu um 
right turns, Montegrappas, shown. I should put the shown's together. Yeah. Kasama, Skogzy. Okay, let me knock these out real quick. What about a spoke green Lamy? Which color spoke green? They kind of have like that British racing green covered. If we could do a if we could do a spoke in the in the shiny finish plastic in the British racing green shiny finish, that could work. And then do like a yellow grip section. That would be sick. If we could get shiny green British racing green then like a yellow grip section, that would be sweet. I'd be down with that. All right. Let me that's why Lamy needs to hire me, Lamy. We can, we can continue going down that path. Um, all right, Paniter. What is the name of this? I always forget the name of this one. Paniter. I just call it the portal. What's the name of that? What's the name of my Paniter? I always forget. I got. I need to ink this thing up. This is this pen is dope. And it has an. Extra fine flex nib, I think is the deal here. Rebel girl, rebel girl. I would move to Heidelberg. I've actually been to Heidelberg before I was doing all this stuff. Did they just call this? Yeah, F, they just call it flex. 14K flex. Good morning, odd copy. Yeah, I need to ink this. I need to ink this one back up. It's such a good pen. Um, but I can't remember the name, so we'll call it the Portal Pen until I go look it up. Unless y'all say it. Do you see fireworks at the castle? I don't think so. We went through the castle, but this was like in the early '90s, so it's been a, forever. Black, fourteen K. Nib size, fine flex. Okie dokie. All right. Oh, this Bennu. I don't know this colorway either. God, I'm going to have to do some follow-up on these. Bennu. Um, Talisman, right? No. Shoot. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Oh. Would love to see the Panatic X Lamy Safari. That would be sick. I would like get all over that. I would be onto that like real quick. Euphoria. God, that's why I always remember. I can't remember that name either. <clears throat> you can get chat to do research. I can. I can get uh, chat to do research. I also went to Heidelberg. To work before fountain pens. I didn't even get to the castle. Yeah, I remember some. I remember like a few very vivid things. One, I remember the hostel we stayed in was very sweet. Um, and I remember the open air market that we went to, and I remember like a lot of Jägermeister in a bar. So that was cool. <laughs> Good morning from Scotland. Hey, Nikki Supply Store. Glad you're here. Appreciate you. Hope you're doing awesome this morning. Cyan Vista Special Edition. I've tried. I've tried. Um, have you seen the new Nakaya finish Sumugi? I don't think so. Maybe. Uh, the Lamy US distributor is tough to work with. Let's let's leave it at tough to work with. All right, I need to figure out the name of this Peniter. Peniter <laughs> Portal. Pen. I have no fucking clue. I said the F word. That's right. Oh, Paniter. Does anyone know the name of my Paniter print? Do you remember anything after the Jaeger? Uh, I must because I think we took a train to Paris after that. It's the mystery filler, yes, but I'm looking for the name of the mo the model name. I'm always I'm bad about model names. I'll okay. I will pull this up in one second. Whoops. Faux Conti. That's pretty funny. All right, Paniter, that's your third pop-up. Give it up. Uh, 
Snyder, mystery filler. Yeah, and this was a special edition, so it's probably not on here. We'll just call it mystery filler. But it had like a... Yeah, Armon, Armon, thank you. It's like the, the artist. Uh, Paniter. Let's just do Armon. Thank you, Alan. Okay, Benu, Euphoria. So what's the name of this color? Thank you, Alan. Rebel girl, rebel girl. Black PVD, okay. Oh yes, we did. We did talk about these finishes for the nibs.com. The kind of like lattice working type things. We did talk about these. Yeah, I had like three days in Amsterdam, Heidelberg, and Paris. It was like a 10, 10 day, like way before I met my wife type of like round trip thing. See, so, yeah, and they have some other colors, right? Or was it just this color? But yeah, it's cool. Like, it's not for me, but like, it looks like kind of crazy. Like, I'm surprised it's only like $1,000 to be per <laughs> It sounds crazy. I'm surprised this is only $1,000. This seems like a more expensive pen than that. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I would like to see this in person, but I don't need to own it. I like it. I like it. All right, what is this Bennu Euphoria color name? Actually, I should probably just go to... Which one is it, chat? Not chat. I think it's French poetry. Is it French poetry? Is that it? Yep. That, I, that's the one I have here. So that's this one. French poetry. He's making me order my second before I've even received my first. That's kind of how it goes with Nakaya's, right? French poetry. So this is steel. And what did I get in here? Fine. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Fine. 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 Hello, boo you. All right. Whoops. All right. Next up is the right turns. Uh, auto medley right turns auto medley which I got at the Orlando pin show I like this one I think this has a stub nib yep 1.1 stub good morning Lilium Right turns, um, I don't think there is a model number, a model name. All right. <clears throat> yeah, the, the clip is what made me buy that one, Zane's dad, at the show. That was when I, I knew I wanted to get a pin from right turns, and it was, I was basically doing a, like a clip decision. Like the clip is what sold me on that model. I really like, like these, um, what's his name? Jason. Jason makes these clips. And like, I thought that one was a pretty cool one. So copper clip, copper finial. I like just the kind of like the unfinished copper variant. It really matches. It really goes with the pen very, very well. I like this one a lot. <clears throat> His Fordite pins on Insta are so tempting. <laughs> Rebel girl. Rebel. Whoops. All right. Let me have... What is the color of the pink one here? 
So we have the, what is mine called? Rio della, yeah, Rio della Toletta. Okay, let's do that mine first. To Grappa, Venetia, Rio della Toletta. And this is steel, extra fine, I'm almost certain. And this is number one of 50, right? I believe that's what I got here. Sorry, Stephanie, I was listening to that before we started. Like, that was the last thing I heard, and I don't know how you can not have that stuck in your head once you listen to it, yeah. So, extra fine. There. And then we have, I gotta go find the color name of this one. This is the flax one. And this is a medium with a journaler nib. So let me find the name of this color. So let's see if we can find this. Yep. Rio de San Marcula. Venetia, Rio, oh, I already forgot, Rio de San Marcula. And this is steel, this is medium, and this, yep, I will get you, I will get you one second. This has a nib grind journal, journal. The color of the Bennu is French poetry, you the road. French poetry. Oh, I think this one is numbered two. This is number 42 of 100. A prime number. Let's go. What was I thinking? <laughs> 42. <laughs> nice. Nice. What did they put these on? Oh, this is actually number one of 100. I forgot that. Forty-two. Was that forty-two numbering accidental? No, I picked that out. <laughs> I picked it out. I mean, I I had to pick. They had like six or eight of them at the show. This was at San Francisco last year. So they had all the pins in the shop, but they only had like six or eight of them at the show. So I had to pick the number and the nib combination that I wanted there. And I was like, 42 is it. 42 is it, Chad. Good morning, Rewizzles. So it was not purposely requested, but purposely chosen. Purposely chosen out of my options. All right, Skogzy, Chola, Macarta, Black Macarta. How do you say that? This has a dope grind on it. My number 31 PA Monte Grappa understands truth, truth. Choi, Choi. Is it Choya, Choya, Choya? I'm definitely not doing that well. It is a chunky one. Linen micarta or rougher texture? I guess it's like linen micarta. But I don't I don't say that as like complete fact, but I I think so.
<laughs> nice, Andrew. So this is a medium, but it has a architect grind on it. This is... Architect grind by the nib tailor. All right. <clears throat> um, then we have the Kasama Una in Ultim. Hi. Three more, then we'll do a giveaway. Here. Uh, not of not of one of these pens though. So love love this pen. I mean, this is this is top of the heap, chat. So when I was talking about the uh, wall thickness of Ultim, you can see the barrel thickness of this. Kuten Gecko in Neko, thank you for the follow. Stretch with the posture check. You can see the wall. What you're looking for is the wall thickness here. It's probably better shown in the barrel, but it's gonna be hard to see because of the threading. But it's a much thinner and lighter barrel on the shown design as compared to the Kasama. Oh, let's sit up. Oof. So here, this is a good example. Look at that. Right. So we were talking about, could we do a spoke pin in Ultim? It'd have to be at least this thick. Like, look how thick that is. Like it is super, super thick. And you can see even the amount that they leave just like in the end, like it is a chunk of a pen. So you would have to do something like this thick to cut out anything in the size. As opposed to, let's see if you can see how thin this is. And there's no right or wrong. It's just like, this is how it, how it goes. This barrel is not that thin, but it's so much thinner than the Ultim, right? Than the Kasama. So you can see just the wall thinness here. It's much thinner. I know, that's why I held off Slumberland Studio, because I didn't think I would like that heavy of a contour in the grip section. Turns out, it's pretty freaking good for me. So, that's what we're looking at. All right, so let me pop this one in. So, bu, 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 Kasama, Kasama, Una, Altum, uh, Steel. One second, Sergeant Stretch, and I will I will answer that question. Nib size. So this has a Mark uh, Bacchus uh, Blade Turk grind on a medium nib. That's what I needed. Medium. All right, so the question is, Brad, what if you turned to size, cut the slots, then drilled out the center? Seems like that way you could have a thinner barrel. I'm not, I'm less worried about the machining of it than I am someone smashing it after they receive it. Right? It could, we could machine it. The machining, I don't think, is my hang up, it, to, to put it lightly. Right, I think it, it can technically be done in different and varying thicknesses. My hang up is usage, having it that thin. Does that make sense? Mm. Oh, I have no problem. I I have no problem with Ian's walls. The Mickey Winter Blad, Blad. I'm saying if I cut one, if I cut the walls like in a spoke pen, I would want them thicker. No, I'm not worried about the machining. I'm worried about the structural integrity of the pen afterwards. <clears throat> All right, so what about a don't smash note neat box, box to customer? Do, does the Paniter Honeycomb have that? Don't smash? 
I've told you all my honeycomb story, right? Spoke design, stupid. Shown design. That I broke, I broke the original, uh, I broke one of the original honeycomb prototypes the moment I picked it up at the LA Pen Show back before Paniter launched. It was cool. <laughs> Engineering hat on here, structural integrity would be less so in a longer, thin strut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I broke the prototype honeycomb <laughs> before Proniter's launch. <laughs> so I was working for Lisa Van S at the LA Pen Show. This had to be, what, like 2016, 17, 18, long time ago. And Paniter hadn't launched yet. And um, what's your dinghy? Uh, Yaffa. Yaffa had the Paniter stuff there and they had the honeycomb. And so Lisa brought me over to like get my opinion on a bunch of the Paniter stuff. And we saw like the standard Paniters, you know, they look great. And then they had the honeycomb. And like I literally picked up the barrel and uncapped it and it smashed right in my hand, like in the grip section. It was cool. It's a feature. <laughs> Uh, shown design. I think this is just called the pen. I don't know. <laughs> so, whoops. Peony and Rose, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. So, yeah, that was that was pre-launch, and they have gone on to uh, uh, substantially strengthen those barrels. <laughs> whoops. So, this has one of my favorite nibs in here. This is a gold sig nib. I don't know if this is the gem one or Audrey, but it doesn't matter. 14K fine flex SIG. There's a lot going on there on that nib. So this is 14K fine grind, yes. Um, this is flex SIG grind. You can get SIGs in gold. You Mm, this is the that's the nib that gets me in trouble temporally. That's the nib that Mike always yells at me for showing. Madison always yells at me for showing because it causes emails, and I don't think you can get like this setup that I have like very frequently. Like it's not a common thing. Ultim is such a cool material, one of my favorites. You come highly recommended by a friend of mine, so I had to follow. Ooh, you have questionable uh, judgment in friends, Peony and Rose. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding but welcome welcome we're doing something super boring right now i had to finish putting these pins in a spreadsheet for this project that i'm doing but we only got one more to go one more to go what does is the shown design pin is what's the name of this pin the shape i was also referred here to a friend i love y'all's friends y'all's friends are my friends too Yay, gifted subs. Whoop, whoop. So is the pen just called the fountain pen? Full-sized. Full-sized is what I should call it. Okay, yeah, Borkman Bork, full-sized. So both of these are full-sized. That reminds me, I have some of the shorties uh, in the back. So we're going to have a talk after I finish this tray of how much more has to go on this sheet, and it's stressing me out. Um, so we finished that one. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't embiggen this for y'all. Y'all should have yelled at me earlier. I'm sorry, guys. We're down to our last one. Um, and this is aluminum. Oh, colorway. All right, let's see if we can figure out my colorway here, chat. Do we get discounts if we refer friends? You get my undying love and respect. All right, we got to find my colorway here. This might take a minute. It looks like that, but it's more purple and pink. What else goes in the box talk is what I'm really interested in. I, I am finding myself in quite the situation, neighbor villain. 
All right, so this is my colorway. So I just have to find the picture. Yeah, it may not be on there, but I want to give it like something at least close. Like it's this finish, but a different color. So which finish is this? Red shift full sized. Because I bought it at a pen show, right? So it may not have ever made it to the site. Oh, that's a cool one. Yeah, it's not on here. But it's close to, it's this color. I mean, it's this design. Oops, hi. But this color. So let's just call it a uh, purple shift for something, right? Just for something to have in here. And I can ask Ian what it is one day. Um... All right, so we have a, oh, we have no nib. I, oh, because my Naganata Togi's in the peak. So I thought the Naganata Togi was in here. So so we're just going to leave this nibless for now because I, I move around the one nib that I got. So it's currently in the peak, which is on the list. All right. Okay, so... Let's do a giveaway. Let me put this tray up, and then we'll do a giveaway. And then we'll talk about where I'm at with this sheet. All right, let's do a chaos giveaway. Can you sew this shown pin again? The, the last one, the purple one? not raffling that off settle down should you put a placeholder nib in that one i should do a lot of things some slumberland studio that's one of the things um but i'm not really overly concerned about it so yeah it's definitely university let's see if neighbor villains got it <laughs> yes so that is called Extra Galactic Purple. So here, I'll show you. Thank you. Uh, this is the colorway. X so I was right on the purple. So Extra Galactic Purple. That is my pin. We're not doing a raffle yet. Settle down. Settle down emotes on the list. Extra Galactic Purple. Thank you, neighbor villain. Yes, yeah, so the Brad should list. So I think there's probably a few other ones that don't have a nib in here. Yeah. Edison Pearl. Because I switched the nib like between these two pins. I switched the nib back and forth. Same with this one. I'll switch the nib back and forth. Different things like that. So there's a few that I don't have nibs in. But I, I could eventually, I'll probably eventually put placeholder nibs in here. Something like that. All right. So let's do a... Uh, we're not raffling anything in that tray. Um, we're raffling out one of these pins. I'm going to go in here and pick one out for y'all. So let me set this up. All right. So exclamation point raffle. You can enter to win one of these pins. Settle down emote is at the top of the list. The next uh, batch of emotes. Um, anyone can enter. Anyone can win. You don't have to be a follower, subscriber. You don't even have to enjoy being here. You just have to type exclamation point raffle. You have to be present to win. If you win, you have to email me your shipping address, and you can live anywhere in the world. We ship worldwide. And after this giveaway, it's going to be confession time for this spreadsheet. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Because I keep realizing more and more stuff. The further I get down this spreadsheet, I keep realizing more and more stuff. So we're going to have a pretty big pin sale again pretty soon. <laughs> pretty soon. 
pretty soon here, Chad. Pretty, pretty soon. How's your manor to manager Toby treating you? Pretty well. Um, my wife's home today, so he's not giving me too much grief. Um, and I keep razzing him a little bit about his current hair situation. It's bad. It's bad. I won't, I mean, have you seen my hair today, Miss G's Crafties? I can't really, I can't really do that. Can't really do that. <clears throat> I know. I, I, I'm the outlier in our family. I think uh, the other three enjoy floofy Toby. I like, I like uh, trimmed hair Toby. I like, I like short hair Toby. They all like long hair Toby. Sorry. Streamline Toby is best. Thank you, Power Belly. I like that. But what does Toby like? I, I'm going to go with streamlined only because it gets hot here. And the more fuzzy he gets, uh, the more huffing and puffing he gets about like when he goes for walks and things like that. It seems like it takes him a little bit longer to cool down. But who knows? It does get hot here. So I, that's, I think that's probably why I also like streamlined Toby. All right, let's pick a winner. Clark Retzer. Clark Retzer. Have you won a chaos giveaway? You're definitely not a first time winner. Um, but have you won a chaos giveaway? I relate to Toby, right, Peony? Same, same, same. All right, Clark, going in. You have not won a chaos? Nice. All right. This is your chaos. Put it right here. Put the rest of them back in here. We'll do another giveaway today, chat. A non-chaos giveaway. I don't know what it'll be, but it'll it'll be non-chaos related. All right, so let me give you some questionable sushi. I've been using these pretty equally. How much? Ooh. We are down to the last bits of questionable sushi. Then we'll have to go into like uh, fancy cats. All right, so email me, hello at panatic.com. Have we discussed the MB price increase on 31 March? No, do you have a link to that? So this probably won't ship till like Sunday. So anyone who wins anything today, I caught up. Um, I shipped yesterday, so we're all caught up through yesterday's giveaways. And just saw it in a mailer. No, did they? Was there a flat percentage listed? Anything like that? Or was it just like, hey, some of this, some of this, some of that? All right, let's have a uh, quick discussion. NFI, facts. Do you do a lot of giveaways? I do a metric crap ton of giveaways. We usually do like two per stream, as long as I'm streaming like over an hour or two. Uh, sometimes three, at least one per stream, three days a week. And then I do a blog giveaway as well, if you're interested in that. I do a weekly blog giveaway. Let me find a link to that. So this thing behind me is called the ice box of happiness. That's where all the giveaway items live. So when I go into the ice box, that's what we do. So here is the current blog giveaway. I'll win 23 months of subbing, let's go. Oh, member chips, we're gonna do that today too. Thank you, Sergeant Stretch, because you're on the list. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. I am glad you said that. Let me get that out just so I don't forget. Um, but we're, we're not going to do this next. We'll do this in a minute. But I need to do this today so we don't forget. 
So I gotta get out all my stuff. Hang on. Where are my envelopes? Hmm. I'll have to find my little pouches here in a minute. We'll worry about that in a minute. All right. Um, Johnny Gamber, my pencil, my friend in pencils, sent me some notebooks he's working on, so I wanted to open these up. Hopefully I can open these up publicly. Um, if not, sorry, Johnny. Um, but let's see, let's see what he sent me. He wanted me to test them out, but I think he's selling these. So let me see what we have here before I pop it on screen. We have a note written in pen. We have a pen included, P-I-N pen. And then we have some notebooks. Do you mean your orange envelopes? Yeah, I was actually looking for the little member chip uh, sleeves, which I think that's what I'm out of. I think they're back in the um, shipping department. So embargo products should ship with a clear label note indicating the embargo. Yeah, look, pen, notebooks. See, they're at least hidden right now. They're at least hidden for the time being. So let me, I'm gonna read the note for, ooh, look at that, that's fancy. Look at that. Foil, foil stamped stickers. Look at you, Johnny. Fancy, fancy. All right, I'm gonna read this letter. That's fancier than my Kerthunker, right? Official AF facts. Yeah, this ink is cool. So use the Diamine Polar. I guess it's one of the uh, one of the ink vent calendars. Polar Glow. All right, uh, Nina Classic Crest. Wist tone. I love it to death. All right, so yeah. Just sent off three pence of Gina to get some grinds. My first time getting anything special. That's awesome, Sage Plant. And Gina does such a great job. All right, let's open the pen. I don't know what, it's a pen pen. Sleeves, that's the word I was looking for, head full of ideas, thank you. I'm tough with, I'm not great with words. What? How cool is that? That's sick. Brad, these just came in. Hope you dig. I dig. I very dig. Where'd the back go? I very dig it. Finally booked my Chicago pen room for Saturday night. Nice. There we go. Pencil Re Revolution Press. Love it. I just decided I'm going this year to Chicago. Nice. Like 30 seconds ago. All right, let's see what we got here. See, so these are handmade by uh, Johnny and probably his daughter. Um, I know they make a lot of books together. Ooh, big sticker. Nice, cute packaging. Oh my God, the snippet. He's literally texting me. Is he watching the stream? Did it arrive in good shape? <laughs> no, he's not watching the stream. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna take a live picture. Everyone say hi. Hey, y'all say hi, Johnny, in the chat. He literally texted me one minute ago asking me if this arrived safely. So y'all say hi, Johnny, in the chat, and I'm gonna take a picture of what I see in there. Nice. <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> I 
Oh, did I get the Wopex is the worst in there? Oh, I didn't get that. <laughs> okay, we did that. There we go. Too funny. Too funny. Man, good wrapping. What? What is happening? That is, this is wicked. All right, let's check this out. So these are all handmade. Uh, uh, what? What? Check that out. So this is all handmade stuff. Um, Johnny and his daughter put these together. JF Gamber Bookbinder, Pencil Revolution Press. So this is like a orange, it almost feels fabricy, but it's like super thick, like washed paper. Like I'm pretty sure this is paper. Brand Downey, that's exactly right. It is not a standard size. So a bunch of little signatures, all kinds of little sewing stitching in here. There we go, stitch through, kind of like an engineering grid. Man, that's cool. God, it's so flexible. All right, see you, Peony and Rose. Hope to see you again sometime. Appreciate you being here. So yeah, um, again, handmade, hand-stitched. This reminds me of the CWNT little, um, little um, sketchbook that I use from time to time, which I haven't used in a while, that had like the apricot paper or something weird like that. This is wicked. I love this so much. Thank you, Johnny. Y'all go check out PencilRevolution.com. Let me check it out. Let's see what he says. <laughs> he says cuss words in here. If you know Johnny, that's correct. All right, so we will test this out. Uh, maybe not this very moment, but yeah, this will stay on the desk. Let's see. Now the empty notebook dilemma, what will you use it for? That's why I don't rush into it. Like we'll wait and see, right? Like, but this is like the right size to use for like different projects or something like that. So I need to think about it for a second. I should use it. I've been threatening to do a, a music project, uh, which is one of the projects I always threaten to do. So that would be a good, a good spot for that, and actually Johnny would probably appreciate that too. All right, so here is the site with some different uh, bindings. If y'all aren't familiar with Johnny's work, um, you should check this stuff out. This is all handmade. Yeah, so it looks like this style, this long stitch style. Oh, look at these. These pride journals are sweet. Oh, look. Man, he's really expanded the site here. I need to add this to my list. Maybe this, this needs to be next week's shout out, huh? Next week's podcast shout out. Sorry, I'm totally distracted now. Whoops. Flannels. Ooh, they're thin. Oh, that's cool. All right, sorry. I'm completely distracted. Thank you, Johnny. This stuff's great. Really, really great. All right, let's put this all right here. Set this aside for one second. All right, that was cool. Really cool. So now we'll have to figure out what we're going to uh, use. 
Let me uh, let me get into next week's show notes. Johnny says big hello from Charm City. That's what he told me to tell y'all. Since y'all said hi to him, he says big hello from Charm City. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Since it is casual Thursday, I feel okay being like completely distracted. I mean, not that this is any more distracted than normal, right? But um, I feel extra distracted today. All right, so we're going to go 553. Sweet. Okay. Now you know what I'm getting a friend for her birthday. Yeah, this is great stuff. Ooh, look at this one. I keep looking at the sold out ones. Like, no reason they're sold out. I mean, good reason they're sold out because they're sweet. Look at that. Sick. Is Johnny going to have a table at the Baltimore Pen Show? Who knows? Stay focused, Brad. That is not happening today, chat. All right. Before I get into some kerthunking, let me uh, let me have a talk. Pentel or Renz Nero now available in jet pens. Okay. Um, so we filled out the box on the spreadsheet here. So I have one other tray in the closet of doom that's got like a bunch of like my maker pens in there. Franklin Christophs Edison's. Like, those all need to go in here. Like, we're going to get up to 100, like, easily. We're going to get over 100. So that just means we're going to have to have a sale pretty soon on this. <clears throat> okay, so Johnny was thinking about it, but maybe not. Yeah, no, we're we're over 100. By the time I do this, um, there's, no, there's no second secret box. But there's a whole tray that I haven't accounted for. And then when I was putting in these shown designs... Like, I know I have a couple of pocket sixes that are, um, like, over $100 that need to go in here. So, I need to figure that out. We'll sort that out next week, probably. So, while we have 83 on the sheet so far, we are well over 100 So, this is why we're doing this, right? We're going to refine this process, get it down, get it taken care of. So, Panatic 150 solves your problem. That doesn't sound as fun. <laughs> so there we are. Do you see this yet? Let's see. Oh no, is that a new one? That's cool. Oh, I need I need more pictures of that. Yeah, I will wait. Like this colorway looks like the sailor, uh, not the sailor, the diamond sailor. What do they call it? Sky at night, or what do they call it? Um, anyway, the new diamond red and ink. It's close enough to that, and it's more orange. I'll probably wait for that. But this looks cool. <laughs> Glitter doesn't belong near vampires. Hmm. I don't know about that. I don't know. I think we could have some glitter vampires, right? Sailor's delight. Yeah. Is it called Sailor's delight or Sailor's warning? But it's the diamond ink we've been talking about. And it's ballpark in this range, but much more orange. Twilight Rides. <laughs> no glitter vampires? Come on. Do you see what we do in the shadows? I feel like I feel like they would be into like some glitter, right? <laughs> I feel like they'd be into that a little bit. Alright, let me uh let me close that spreadsheet. All right. Let's see. Pretty, of course, I, I know Sarah would like it. All right, so let me reorganize right here. Colin Robinson would make a glitter bomb. Oh, Colin Robinson would make a glitter bomb for sure. For sure. All right. Let's pre-thunk about five of these or six of these. Didn't Colin Robinson do some poop bombs? I'm pretty sure he did like they some of one of them did like the poop bombs. Like where you step on them, like the flame poopers. 
All right. Hold your ears. Oof. That was lame. Tester. All right. Sorry. I gotta give a good. I gotta give a good stamp. I should have tested it on paper first, but oh well. We're almost into the to the Mandarin envelopes. All right, let's do five of these. I think I got about five to do. All right, so that's that. So I need to find my little baggies. Let me look and see. They might be out in the shipping department. Yeah. Out of stock. So I will go ahead and do the addresses. And then do the, um, I'll load them up um, when I go, go to the back, go to the shipping department. All right, so we need to hide people's address. Um, have we decided, we've been doing Sharpie on these, right? Has the GBI come around find out why you have a supply of small baggies yet? If anyone would audit my um amazon orders or like any of my shipping any of my shipments yeah i'm surprised i haven't been questioned about a lot of things to be perfectly honest <laughs> all right let's get these let's get these addresses up real quick rebel sorry i keep saying that link insertion sponsored post let's delete that one All right, there we go. Woo, I'm behind on these. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five, I was right. All right, let me do these real quick. This will just take a second. Have I ever showed y'all my marker grip? Hey, Bennick, how are you? Rebel girl. Oops. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's do these stamps. So we're going to do. Yes, G. Bannock, I kind of. Wife loving the Kaveco Sport Pencil. That's a really cool little pencil. All right, so we're going to use um, Raven Story stamps. I'll show you all these real quick. I love these. Let me hide this one off the cam. Let me go ahead and tape these. So we're using black Sharpie for writing, and all of these are in the U.S., so we're going to use our regular U.S. stamps, which we're still going through Raven Story. Um, which were probably the coolest from last year, I think. All 
Brad using a stamp before addressing. I verified the addresses. Oh yeah, in case I might make a typo. Oof, yeah, God, I didn't think about that. I'm not very smart sometimes. I will admit that. Power belly, I am not very smart. Smart. S M R T. That is true. Because I have uh all right, so y'all should y'all should bet some channel points. Y'all should do a poll. Will Brad ruin an envelope that he has pre-stamped? I got four more to go, chat. I could ruin it. I could ruin it. Let's see. All right, I'm going in. If y'all want to make a poll, go for it. And now I feel the pressure. <laughs> All right, one down. Check. Two down. Two to go. Three down, one to go. So far, so good. So far, so good, chat. Got it. Yeah, get wrecked, chat. Get wrecked, chat. That's what I have to say. That's what I have to say about that. Ye Yees of little faith. Yees of little faith. All right. Now I just got to remember to put the, put the chips in them. Because I'm out of my baggies. I'm out of my dime bags. It's been busy around here. I'm out of dime bags. You know how it goes. <sighs> oh, yeah. Let me do this, though. One, two, three, four. Let me set these here. All right. Got it. All right. Let me... What pen did you use? Uh, Sharpie. The 
Marker of the Beast. Standard sized Sharpie. Let's do, let's do another giveaway. You have no idea what happened? <laughs> That's pretty much the theme of this stream, I think. I don't know what I just watched. I don't know what I just said most of the time. All right, I think we should do another giveaway. Ratsky, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Glad you're here. Glad you're hanging out. Um, what you just witnessed was me addressing envelopes, but I couldn't show people's addresses on the stream because we don't roll that way. We don't roll that way. Um, but yeah, this is the pen I used. And this is my marker. My marker grip is different from my most of my other writing grips. I think I've showed you all this before. So like, um, like normally I'll grip a pen, you know, pretty traditional. So I have a traditional grip when I'm writing, you know, pretty standard, standard grip, standard kind of angle of the pen. You got the job. Let's go, Sergeant. Sorry, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And then when I use a marker, I come over the top. So it's like that. That was a lot of interviews. That's awesome. <laughs> so then we write, uh, So that's my <clears throat> that's my marker grip. I don't know why. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Moving to auditing for the Office of Unclaimed Funds. Hey, glad you got it. You are awesome. <laughs> you know those words. Slap a stamp on it and send it as a postcard. True. This is pretty much postcard size. What is this? A6? Oops. I don't even know. You want to mail that to you? Sure. <laughs> With all my other junk on here. <laughs> so yeah, I write, I write with big, big markers. Yeah, this is a good little desk pad. Test some ink on that page first. I should just ink splatter it. I should just ink splatter it. All right, I was going to do a giveaway. Fuzzy Warble, 10 months of subbing. Let's go. We haven't been into the ice box of happiness recently, so let's do that. I think we did one last week. Celebratory ink sprouters. Yeah, I'll have to do that not on my desk. Also with neon clear penguin's name on it. Um, whoa. Things are flying. All right, what do we got here? Oh, well, here we go. Y'all wanted me to do this last week. Um, Y'all wanted me to do this last week, and I said I would save it for later. So we have a set of the Dormouse Desk uh, inky postcards, right? So this is uh, Brenda's stuff that you can get at the Dormouse Desk that I do write uh, postcards on. So these are the five colors in this set, which are really, really awesome. So they're set up to be postcards. You can scan the QR code to see Brenda making these. This is with Graphon Faber-Castell Stone Gray. 
Diamine Monbato's hat. Colorverse Rising Reflections. Graphon Faber Castell Burned Orange. Robert Oster Thunderstorm. So, I said last week I would give these away, so let's do it. This is one of my favorite finds of the year. Also at the Orlando Pin Show. This is why you go to pin shows. Uh, and it, you get to find cool stuff and meet cool people. Like the Dormouse Desk. All right, so let's give this away. Hang on, I got a cough. I'm not drinking enough. All right, giveaway. Give away. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Dormouse Desk is sometimes in chat. Maybe not today, but uh, a lot of times you will see them here. All right. This giveaway is open. Type exclamation point raffle. Anyone can enter. And I ship worldwide. That's a much easier way to say it. Anyone can enter. I ship worldwide. You must be present to win. Because you have to email me your address. Where is here? Sorry, we're gonna wrap it up after this. So I'm looking at who we can, uh, who we can go raid. <laughs> we have our friend Patrick at Yuck Fun, who we confused so badly, like why we wanted to show up over there. Then we have Kira Tissa making some, doing some workshops. Let's see what else we got here. I've got my wife making a racket because my door's open, and her headphones are in, so it's exceedingly loud. We can throw it to her. <laughs> what is this Lego set? Let me know. Is anyone using... Whoa. Is anyone using the tags? Sorry, I'm talking to myself. Yuck Fun, uh, the art is awesome. That's my, like, that's my style. Was Mike doing a keyboard build today? Why is he? I thought I saw him on the schedule having a uh, having a build build time. Sorry, I'm just double checking if we got any stationary users out here today. That we have not stumbled on before. All right, let's do a giveaway. All right, y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Sorry. I was just preparing. Let's pick a winner. Ready? Boo you! You win the postcard set from Dormouse Desk. <clears throat> Yo! Email me your shipping address. When you get a chance, no rush today. We will probably not shipping these to like Sunday, I'm thinking. So that's the current plan. Um, yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. Got it. 
Got it. Boom. Questionable sushi. <laughs> Questionable sushi. Gang, gang, rise up. All right. Well, thank y'all for hanging out today. Let's go see. Uh, let's go to uh, uh, Kiritissa. I, I really need to work on the pronunciation. Um, Kiritissa. Let's go see what they're doing. All right. <clears throat> Thank y'all for hanging out today. Um, next week, again, normal week. Two, what, two weeks before the, um, oh, uh, before the um, Baltimore show. Tomorrow night, Miss G's Crafties. 7 p.m. Eastern, Miss G's Crafties anniversary stream. Y'all go check that out. Make sure you follow um, Miss G's Crafties. All right, set your alert. 7 p.m. Eastern. You won't get to watch next week. You have to be on site for work. There might be ways around that. You can, you can maybe figure that out. All right, so we'll get this raid going. Um, Y'all go behave. I don't know what Kiritisa is making today, but it's going to be awesome. So we'll check it out. So y'all be nice and uh, have a great weekend. Be good. Bye.